Meteorologist Christina Reese. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for staying up with us here on KSNT News. There's already a bit of a chill in the air out there, and temperatures will continue to fall, so much so that a frost advisory will go into effect starting at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning and lasting through 9 a.m. for those counties highlighted in that light blue there. And that's because the main thing we're tracking for tonight is it's going to be a chilly one. But even so, temperatures rebound more so for tomorrow as sunshine returns. And sunshine dominates for a good portion of the week. And that'll gradually help to warm us up across the board as well. Not warm anymore here in the capital city. We were just mild at best for today. We're back down to 44 degrees after reaching a high of 63 earlier. Again, a mild one, but across the board now, getting a little bit more of that chill in the air with 40s across northeast Kansas. 48 for Burlington, 45 in Hiawatha, 43 is the case in Marysville, barely holding on to the 40s right now as Council Grove at 40 degrees on the dot. Now, we were cool today because of that constant northwest wind, but those winds have since subsided. You'll see all those zeros popping up on your screen there, and that's a calm wind. So the, the air is becoming much more still, but you couple that calm wind with the fairly clear skies will stay throughout the night, and that allows the perfect setup for radiational cooling. All that is is there's not anything to help keep in the warmth to allow these temperatures to prevent them, rather, from continuing to falling. Heading out the door tomorrow morning, we are talking 30s across the board. Some spots may stay in the low 40s, but other spots may get as cold as the mid 30s, and that's why some patchy frost is possible by daybreak tomorrow. But we warm up more so for tomorrow than we did today because we'll see the sunshine return, but also the winds will be out of a different direction. 5 to 15 mile per hour winds out of the south will help get us back into the low 70s for the most part. Some upper 60s may stick around, and a bit of that southerly breeze sticks around for tomorrow night into the start of your Tuesday, and that'll keep us a bit more on the warm side as you head out the door Tuesday morning. I think this is a touch too warm by a few degrees. I think most of us will head out the door Tuesday in the 40s. For tonight, though, again, it's going to be a chilly one, calling for a low of 38 degrees here in the capital city. And some spots that get as low as the mid 30s, you have the better chance of seeing some patchy frost develop by early tomorrow morning. Breaking down tomorrow's day planner for you again, areas of frost possible as you head out the door near sunrise around 7:30. But by noon, the return of sunshine and those southerly winds kicking up will actually warm us up pretty nicely. We're looking to crack into the low 60s, which is about as warm as we got for daytime highs today. And we stay fairly clear for tomorrow night. But again, the return of those southerly winds sticking around throughout the night will keep us a touch bit warmer for tomorrow night compared to tonight. A final check at your KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast shows tomorrow will be the coldest start to the week, but otherwise we gradually warm up back to near 70 degrees, and day after day of sunshine will allow temperatures to start to rebound more so. We'll be back into the mid, maybe even upper 70s by uh, the second portion of the brand new work and school week. It looks like our next rain chance actually holds off until next weekend. So while you're heading out and about for work and school this week, you won't need the rain gear. We'll be in a bit of a dry spell.